Perfect World 2022. What's up, saviors? GH here. Today, we're gonna do a Perfect World gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing PWI from the start. Perfect World is a tab targeting MMORPG with traditional Chinese setting. And with that said, let's do this. Let's go play the game, okay guys? Here's the character creation. Before we do that, there's a lot of problem in this game. You know, I started this so many times and it's asking me for my username and password even though I launched this game with the ARC launcher. And then when I put my username and password, it's always wrong. But my username and password is so simple. Anyway, we're in the game, we're in the character creation. Here are the different races. Here's the humans. Here's the untamed. Here's the winged. Here's the Tideborn, here's the Earth Guard, and the Nightshade. The game looks good. I think we should check out the classes. Yep. Okay, let's start with the Nightshade classes. Here's the Dusk Blade. Here's the Stormbringer. Oh my god, the frame rate is going down. Okay, now for the Earth Guard, we got the Seeker and the Mystic. For the Tideborn, we got Psychic and Assassin. For the Winged, we got Edge Runner, Cleric. And Archer. For the Untamed, we got the Barbarian, the Wild Walker, we're probably gonna use this, the Venomancer. For the Human Race, we got the Blade Master, the Wizard, and Technician. Okay, we're gonna go to the Untamed and use Wild Walker because it's new. Select this class, and there it goes. There's already presets here in the character customization. Okay, what's the most interesting? I'm kinda liking the Dragon Ball hair. Okay, let's use this Dragon Ball hair body presets okay basically tall and small is there any in-depth here about the face preset okay if you want a more customized character you can do it here you can change the forehead cheekbone cheek lower jaw and all those good stuff there's a lot of it in here eyebrows nose mouth and the eyes of course we can change it and the hair how many hairs only six hairs okay, let's check it out the hairstyles here are the different hairstyles. It's very limited, but you can change the color. Look at this. You have a purple Super Saiyan. And then in this part, we can make the head bigger and torso length. Got the waist, hand size, leg length, thickness, foot size. Okay, there it goes. Let's go back to the preset and use the Super Saiyan preset. Let's go. Let's name our character. How about this life playing as a female? Well, I'm pressing this. Male and female, but nothing's happening. So I guess let's just use this complete. And there goes our character. Let's start the game. We got a fairy. What's that? Okay. Anyway, start. And we're at the hero's terrace. We're in the game, guys. Can we move with WSD? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It stuttered when I tried to move, but it's working fine now. We can move the camera with the mouse, of course. Oh, look at this. We can jump and it's very floaty. Can we double jump in the game? Wait a minute. Just one jump. Okay, that's just one jump. Let's try jumping two times. Ah, oh, we can double jump. It's very floaty. Can we attack while jumping? Nope. The game is tab targeting, I can tell. Okay, anyway, what are we supposed to do? Talk to the guide? Talk to the guide? Spirits chosen. Untamed. I'll do my best. Give it a quest. Okay, we got a quest, but there's no form of autopathing or any form of direction or a quest compass or anything that will guide us. So let's open up our map. Oh my god, what is this? We're here. I think that indicates the quest. Okay, we need to go over there. Or at least the map is showing where we're supposed to go. Okay, there's a monster cat over here. How about let's try attacking? Ah, oh, we only have a melee attack. Heavy wielding. Let's try it. Let's close up. Attack that monster cat. Attack, bro. Oh, I need to continually press it. It's not auto-attacking. How about let's try it again? Let's double click the monster cat. Let's see if it's gonna attack. Oh yeah, it's attacking. Now it's auto attacking. Oh no, it's not auto attacking. What the what? Okay, we need to spam the one button for that heavy wielding. Okay, we won. Let's go. Let's go to the quest. Oh, I remember this place. Oh no, it's slightly different. It looks slightly different, but it's pretty much the same. Okay, I think that's the quest. Yep, let's talk to him. Spirits. Chosen. Untamed. Okay. Now we got that quest. We completed it. Open up the map. 
And the quest is done. I think what we're supposed to do is do this quest. I think that's the quest indicator. Okay, let's try doing this Cyclonian quest. Manifest destiny. I'll give it a try. What are we supposed to do there? Man, where's our quest journal? Here it goes. Manifest destiny. Press Q to open the quest list. Okay. <laughs> it's teaching me how to open the quest list. Okay, there it goes. Q to open up the quest list. I think that's done. Manifest destiny. We're done with that quest. Give me another quest. Book of mystery. All right, I'll make good use of it. What are we supposed to do now? Book of mystery. Find the senior scribe at the hero's terrace. Okay, hero's terrace. Open up the map. And there he goes. He's very close. Okay, we found him. There goes the senior scribe. Okay, somebody's playing over here. He's also trying the new class. Talk to the senior scribe. Book of mystery. Piece of cake. Purity of spirit. Be right back. Now what? Press Q. What's our quest now? Hunt down the star spirits around the hero's terrace. Okay, just one. Where's that located? Uh, I think here. I need to go there. Man, the map isn't really helping. I think that's it. The box. The divine chest box. Okay, that's attack this. No. <laughs> I'm just guessing. What am I supposed to attack? Let's read it. Star spirits. Okay, there it goes. What? The monster is literally a star. Okay. Star spirits it is. Let's attack it. Let's close up to show you guys that it's literally a star. Let's attack that star spirit. Like, oh, there it goes. Did they give us a newbie box or something? Where's the inventory here? Okay, there it goes. What's this? Let's try using all of this charm. Use it all. Now what's this? Perfect chronicles. What happened? It disappeared. Uh, okay. Whatever that is. Essence of purity. I, I think, I think this is the quest. And then I got this fur from the star. Is that it? Okay, that's the only stuff we have. Let's turn over the quest. There's not even a sound effect in the game. Okay, how about let's try enabling the sound effect. Not the music, just the sound effect. System settings, game, hotkeys. Okay, it's zeroed out. There it goes. Now there's sound effects. Apply. Okay, we applied it. Let's turn over the quest. Where do we turn over the quest? Okay, there it goes. To Sekron Shien. Look at this, people are playing the game. Oh, that's the guy we saw a few minutes ago. Let's turn over the quest. Purity of spirit. We're done with that quest. Now what? Preparing for battle. All right, be back in a flash. What are we supposed to do? Okay, now we need to visit the different NPCs around here. The apothecary, tailor, blacksmith, craftsman, and the merchant. Okay, let's visit them all. Let's start with the blacksmith. I think he's gonna give us equipment quest related. Thanks a lot. Select the reward. Okay, are we gonna change appearance? When we equip that armor, let's check it out. I hope we change appearance. Let's try it out. Breastplate. No, we're not changing appearance. That's disappointing. Okay. I think we're only gonna change appearance if we buy a skin. Quest related. Give us the gloves. Done. Okay, equip that glove. Put it over here. Let's talk to the other NPCs. Talk to the craftsman. What is that? Okay, whatever that is. Just equip it. Now for the merchant. Quest related, prepare for battle, thanks. Give us the boots. Now we got some boots. And now talk to the tailor. Quest related, and give us the pants. There it goes, we're done with the quest, right? What, for some reason, this NPC appeared. And I don't think he's the quest giver. How about let's go back to Sekron Shien. Turn over the quest. Preparing for battle. I feel stronger already. No, oh, okay. There it goes, he's giving us a staff. What happened there? Okay, there he goes. We got a new staff. Honored Kajal. Okay. What are we supposed to do now? Take another quest from Sekron Shien. Okay, now what? Press Q. Head to target. Okay, there's auto pathing in the game, guys. When you click this coordinate over here, our character starts moving. Which is kind of good because at the start, it's a bit confusing where you need to go. They're showing it to us at the map. So anyway, this is much better. Confirmed. Okay, we're done with this quest. But our character is still moving. Oh, I, we need to be here? What are we supposed to do here? Share the strange butterfly when you found. Okay, we need to talk to the senior scribe. There it goes. Talk to him. Bring it on. Okay, we leveled up. Can we add some stats in the game? Press C. Vitality, strength. For some reason, we have a lot of vitality. Should we add vitality or what? Let's press the question mark. Let's see if it's gonna guide us on what we need to pick. If we're a wild walker. No, not really. I think we should add Dex because we have a lot of Dex. <laughs> Dex all. Max it out. Okay, we max it out. Done. 
Now what? Got a lot of stats now. How about skills? I pressed K but it's not the skills. Man, what's happening here? How do we get the skills here? Okay, anyway, I think the game is gonna guide us on how to open up the skills window. So let's just talk to the senior scribe. Tracking the sacred beast very well. Okay, now what? Uh, Q. The divine seal. Okay, let's go to the divine seal. Now, this is much more easier because I found out how to autopath. <laughs> okay, divine chest. Open this up. And there it goes. We're done with that thing. Let's go back to the NPC and let's get our reward. What's our reward? Nothing. Okay, we're done with that. And for some reason, according to this, I need to wait. Okay, I think it's done. Talk to the senior scribe again. You count on me. What's happening? There's a bunch of souls roaming around the screen. Uh, what's that supposed to do? Okay, anyway, let's talk to the senior scribe again. The flame flow butterfly. Thanks for the tip. Now what? Press Q. Altar of Acoustica. Ooh, we got teleported. What? I think we need to fight that butterfly. Let's check it out. Yeah, we need to defeat that butterfly. This place is amazing. It's very detailed. Okay, I'm liking this area. Let's attack that butterfly. We don't have any skills. Kind of want to see the skills. Is this it? Oh yeah, there it goes. How about let's move away from the butterfly first before we try adding some skills. Can we add a skill? Frigid Moon. Okay, let's try getting it. How about let's try leveling. The first skill because everything else here is blacked out. Leveling this one. And that's it. Oh, man, this is very confusing. Oh, what's happening? My character starts to move after that. Learn skills. Action. Ape form. I'm kind of interested in that. I kind of saw an ape form skill. Okay, ugh, the butterfly is going near me. Okay, let's attack the butterfly. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I think I need to put the skill first. Man, what's happening in this game? Okay, there it goes. Put the skill over here. What is that supposed to do again? <laughs> Frigid Moon. It's an attack skill. Let's go use it. Frigid Moon. Attack, bro. What's happening? You keep following. Let's go. Three damage. What? Okay, now we're attacking the butterfly for some reason. Even though we're not hitting the butterfly, we're damaging it. There it goes. Loot. How can we loot? F2 is loot. Pick up. Let's open up our bag. Let's see if we got something. Did we get something? Nope. Okay, open up the quest. Turn over the quest. Let's go. Okay, guys. Before we turn over the quest, we're gonna check out the cash shop. As usual. And you know, guys, I've been trying to search for the cash shop. I've checked out everything here in the menus over here. And I couldn't find it. And turns out, I mean, usually... The cash shop is a big icon in the UI. You can easily see the cash shop so that you can buy something, right? In most MMORPGs. But in this game, look at this. Here's the cash shop. This thing over here. This is the icon for the cash shop. <laughs> this small thing over here. Okay, let's check it out. The boutique. And what's this? New. Okay, based on my understanding, these are items that contains some refinement items used to make your equipment better. Okay, most of this in the new thing over here. How about the star chart? I couldn't understand this. I think this is a feature in the game that I have yet to see. For the packs, according to this, these are all gachas. Look at this. Let's check out this star fortune. According to the description, it may contain a weaponized Allosaurus mount. I'll repeat it, guys. May contain a weaponized Allosaurus mount. It may only contain it. If you open it, you could not get it. So, and all of these are gachas. Look at this. This perfect chest contains numerous treasures of perfect world. Has a chance to contain the powerful Hercules or the elegant blazing phoenix battle pets or an adorable Dalmatian pet. You know, it only has a chance to get all of those a chance. It's not 100%. And there's a bunch of gacha boxes over here. It's crazy. What's this golden egg over here? According to this... It has a chance to contain one, two, or three star dragon orbs or a mirage celestone. Okay, it only has a chance to get that. Wow. Okay, these are the gacha tab. Now for the wedding, okay, this is very straightforward. If you're a groom and you're looking to get married in the game, you can buy this. You're gonna get the stamp of eternity, which I guess it's required for getting married. And then wedding clothes, you're gonna get wedding clothes in the game if you buy this groom pack. And here is for the bride pack. And then, what's this? A rose heart. According to this, right click to burst into flame. Why would you want to do that? I guess, you know, 
to make your wedding much more flashier. <laughs> There's even a uh, wine over here. What's this wine? Okay, you can buy a wine for your wedding. Then the pet tab. Okay, these are pet items. And according to this, you need 9,999 of this item over here. Mysterious bone to get a corgi battle pet. You need to talk to an NPC to be able to get that corgi. And there's a bunch of pets in the game. And there's also home decorations and miscellaneous stuff. Mainly pots and skill books. You know, the usual. Let's check out the star. And according to this, okay, this star tab over here also contains gacha boxes like this heaven relic. It may contain a deer of piety mount or gold foil if you open this box over here. And this dragon orb, what's this? Oh, okay, based on the description, it's a refinement item. If you use this, you can get your equipment to plus 5, 100% if you have 5 pieces of this. If that's my understanding, okay? Then a teleport stone, usual. If you buy it, you can get to a place much more easier. Some skill books. And there's a lot of skill books in the game. You're gonna need this to improve your skills. And some dice, like this one. Let's go to the point thingy. Okay, if you have VIP points, you can get a Dragon Orb Mirage. And this one, you can get our maximum refinement level plus 11. Wow. Okay, so you can buy those at the cash shop. And here's the fashion, guys. Fitting room. Fashion shop. There's a set. There's no preview. Okay, here's the swimming dragon fashion. And for some reason, all of this looks this. I think the fitting room is bugged. So let's just check it out manually. You can buy this tiger mite hood. Golden Splendor hair, Dragon Emperor's crown, and there's a lot of them. You can buy hairstyles, and what? A motorcycle helmet, and a cap. Okay, kind of breaks the immersion, but whatever. You can also buy different costumes over here for top and bottom, and some shoes, and it's on the accessories. Okay, whatever. And there's nothing on the weapons. Close this, those are the fashions. And the flyers, guys, here are the flyers. Kind of looks like a sword. You buy this, your flying animation is gonna look like this. There's also a bunch of them. And then of course, the regular mount. If you wanna move really fast on the ground like this, Dog Prosper mount. Okay, it's a husky. You can buy a husky to move fast in the game. An Imperial Dragon Tortoise. For some reason, you move fast when you're using a tortoise. Okay, a Blazing Dragon. There's no preview, just a box. A Mouse Wheeler. There's also no preview, just a box. I'm assuming most of those doesn't have any preview. Then utility items like this Platinum Guardian Charm. And according to the description, if you have this item and your HP is lower than 50%, for example, you got hit by a strong attack, you're gonna recover HP by 1,200,000 HP. <laughs> if you have this item. And there's some for the spirit. Bronze Charm. Okay, there's a bunch of those. These are kind of like automatic pots. And of course, Hyper EXP Stone. These are the EXP boosters. If you have this, you're gonna get more EXP. And of course, crafting items. Wow, even crafting items is sold in the cash shop. In the utility, there's a storage tab. Of course, you can buy storage items. Portal items if you wanna reach places much more easily. Resets, some dice, some megaphones, and emotes for some reason. And that's the cash shop, guys. I hope you saw what you wanted to see over there. And let's go proceed with the quest. Let's talk to the senior scribe. Oh, look at this. Somebody playing over here. He's an archer. The flame flow butterfly. Okay, we're done with that quest. We're now level 6. Now what? Okay, take another quest from you. Little lives. I will try. Check our map. Precious egg. We need to hunt down monster cat spirit. Okay, let's auto path. We're now moving. Where are we going? Okay, there it goes. The quest is marked on the map. Let's attack this monster cat. Attack the monster cat. Okay, he's one hit now. Is that it? Loot? We didn't get it? Did we get it? Nope, we didn't get it. Okay, let's hunt it down. Let's get some. What? Okay, loot, loot. There's somebody hunting down enemies over here. Uh, this skill is kind of weak. Let's just use our primary attack. It's much more stronger. Are we done with the quest? Let's check out the quest journal. Okay, here it is. We're done with the quest. Let's turn it over. Senior scribe, very well. Okay, is that it? He has no more quests. 
Let's check out the quest journal again. Hatching the pet. Pet manager of even. Okay, we're gonna go to the pet manager. There he goes. You're the pet manager. Okay, let's talk to her. Hatch pet egg quest related. Okay, there he goes. All right. Is that it? Now we don't have any more quest. How about let's try hatching a pet. Let's put this. I think we can hatch a pet over here. Hatch it. Is that it? Are we done with that? What's happening with this? I think we hatched the pet. Man, navigating the menus in here. There's a lot of things to click. Plus, look at this. When I'm highlighting an icon, it's blocking the description. I don't know what that thing is. <laughs> it's definitely a problem right there. I'm looking for the pet tab. I think this is it. There it goes. Okay, let's call this pet. We're summoning our pet now. No, oh, that's not a pet. <laughs> it's a mount. Okay, we got a mount. Look at this. It's cute. Okay. Whatever. Nice, we got a mount. Let's go. Now what? What's our quest? We don't have any more quest. Find quest? Okay, heading north. Let's talk to Sekron Shen again. He has a quest for us. Bro, give me a quest. I'm on my way. And we got teleported. Wu Izen. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Heading north. Okay. Give me another quest. Blood of the enemy. And it's that it. Check our journal. Blood of the enemy, ape blood. Okay, we need to hunt down the apes over here. Hunt them down. There it goes. It's auto dismount. I thought I'm gonna have to dismount, but no. Let's go, bro. Hunt down the apes. Okay, we got the ape blood. Turn over the quest. Most of the quests are very easy to do. Okay, now what? Give me another quest. Wu Izen. Blood magic. No problem. What happened? We became a squirrel. Look at this. Uh, blood magic. Blood link circle. We need to go there. And we're moving fast. Because we're a squirrel. <laughs> okay, let's interact with this. Blood link circle. Blood magic. Confirm. And there it goes. We become a human again. Now what? Quest journal again. Find the drunk monk. Okay, it's autopath over there. It's happening here. Somebody popped out. I think that's our enemy. Corrupted ape. Oh no, this one. Drunk monkey. On tip down. He's kind of strong. He's not going down easily. Destroy him. And we got him. Now what? Quest journal. We hunted down the monk. Let's go back to Wu Izen. There he is. The autopathing is not good. It's getting stuck on places. Now what? Nowhere to hide. Uh, now what? <laughs> Give me another quest, Wu Izen. And I think I'm getting teleported. Now we're in a city. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, okay, let's talk to Color Mask. The name of the NPC is Color Mask. Let's look at her. Okay, she's Color Mask. Okay, more victories. Give me another quest. Dispelling evil. Okay, let's dispel the evil. Sealed shadow. I'm trying to click sealed shadow, but it's not moving. Okay, there it goes. The autopathing is not that good. It's getting stuck. I think those are the shadows. Kinda looks like a shadow. <laughs> not actually shadow. Oh, let's take a look at the skill. Can we learn anything here? Give me a new skill. There's something here. I think it's asking me. How can I add a new skill here? Show only learnable skill. We don't have any more learnable skill. Man. Okay, that's our only skill. This two. And the one that we learned is kinda weak. Our basic attack is much better. <laughs> okay, let's finish up the quest. Thankfully, the quests are easily done. I can't click the shadow over here. I think it's because I'm done. Oh yeah, we're done. Okay, let's talk to Color Mask again. Turn over the quest. There's quite a few people playing this game. The chat is very active. Most of them are just trash talking each other. <laughs> okay, of course. That's what's the chat for. Look at this guy. Let's inspect him. Oh no. Let's discontinue with our quest. Confirm. Give us a new quest. Cleansing the lake. It's autopath over there. Wow, we have a lot of quests. Uh... Okay, let's head to the target. I think we're gonna have to hunt down some mermaids. I would kind of remember this quest. I'm having trouble hunting down those mermaids. If I remember correctly. There it goes. Oh, jellyfish. We need to hunt down the jellyfish. Okay, we hunted it down, right? Okay, now to the next one. Okay, that's why. That's why I said a mermaid. Because I remember that mermaid over here. How about let's try attacking it? Ah, let's cancel this autopathing. Moving in this 
Oh, there he goes. She's attacking us. Let's go hunt her down. What's happening? Attack her. Let's go hunt her down. Open up our bag. <laughs> we might be defeated here, but we don't have any pots. Uh oh. We're gonna defeat her. And there it goes, we defeated that mermaid. And that's perfect world from the start. And I hope you saw what you needed to see, because I sure did. Now, the game starts off by showing us the variety of races and classes to choose from, which is nice, there's a bunch of them, and the character customization is enough. Now, the combat is that targeting, and at the start, you don't have that much, except a basic attack and another skill, which is kind of like a basic attack. So, the combat felt dull from the beginning. Now, the graphics is good enough, but the frame rates in different areas in the game suffers when there's a certain activity happening. All in all, Perfect World is still playable. I like it. But, I feel like there are mobile games out there that's kind of better than this. But still, if you want to check the game out, the details are on the screen. And if you like the video, the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gamey Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gamey Hardcore. See you in the next one.